How's she getting on? Oak Easy here once again to talk about my complaint. Parkinson's disease, or parquet as I call it. I got a brand new word I want to talk to you about this morning. It's called neuroplasticity. Let me read this part to you. Brain repairs in people with Parkinson's disease happens through exercise induced neuroplasticity. Amazing thing. I learned about it at a brain injury seminar. Let me try to bring it all out to you. There was a radio interview I heard a couple of years ago about a blind guy. When he was two years old, he became blind. He learned to click his tongue when he's walking down the sidewalk. And if he clicked his tongue, going down the sidewalk, and if there's a pole in the middle of the sidewalk, he knew he had to walk around it because the echolocation. You can look that up on CBC, echolocation. Very interesting story. Well, the guy, when he was in the interview, in the studio, he could tell the interviewer how far the walls were away and how high the ceiling was. And he indeed teaches children, blind children, almost how to see. I guess what happens is the seeing parts of his brain are gone. So his ears, his hearing, and the seeing receptors in his brain somewhere got together and created new channels. So through his, through his brain, he can almost see where these, where these things are. It's almost like a story. If you read a story, you're reading black words on white paper. It's just words. Just say you're reading a story about a sea captain. Well, the sea captain, you learn that. You, 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 you think that he's got a gruff voice. So you hear a gruff voice. You see the scar on his cheek. You see the, the rough beard he's got. And he, he, he kills somebody. And you get all angry. And in the story, it says that the, sh the ship is going through rough seas. And you can almost smell the salt air and feel the waves. And your brain is just firing crazy because of this story. It's an amazing pudding we got up here. Amazing. Well, let me tell you about my f favorite hero, a lady by the name of Gabby Gifford. She was a politician down in the United States and somebody shot her in her head and she couldn't walk anymore and she couldn't talk anymore. Well, what happened, through a hard effort, she learned to walk and she learned to talk. What I, I think probably happened is her, her, her talking parts in her brain was disconnected from her voice box. But somehow she rewired herself through different channels in her brain around the damaged parts and she made channels and rivers and routes and roads from her, from her hearing part to, from her speaking part to her voice and she learned to talk again. And the same thing with her walking. She couldn't walk because the connection was broken. But somehow she rewired her brain. The little, the little synapses and, and, and nerves and all that kind of stuff just grew together in a different way. Your brain is an amazing thing. It's not like a rock, it's fluid, it's plastic, it can change, and you can change it. Let me tell you about myself. I learned to be a ventriloquist years ago. In ventriloquism, you learn to talk using different muscles. You use your throat and the size of your tongue instead of just your tongue yourself. And you, you learn all kinds of different tools of how to pronounce a word differently. Well, when I became, when I got Parkinson's, I couldn't use the tip of my tongue very good anymore, so I had to relearn it. I must have been pretty good as a ventriloquist because my wife used to say to me, Geezer, you're even talking when your lips aren't moving. I love her and she's a sweetheart. Another time, after I found out I had Parkinson's disease, I decided I'm going to learn to stand on one foot, do some yoga stuff. So after a lot of work, as my Parkinson's got worse, it was harder to do, but I would learn if I focused my eyes on a certain spot and I had a horizon, I could stand on one foot. And I got real proud of myself. So I went to a yoga class one time to learn. And I was standing up on one foot, right proud of myself I was. And the instructor said, we're going to gently turn down the lights a little now. Of course, my horizon was gone. My focal point was gone. The floor came up to meet my face real fast. The instructor came over to meet me. She said, are you OK? Did the fall hurt you? I said, no, my love. The fall didn't hurt me. But the stopping after the fall hurt. Neuroplasticity. We can re retrain our brain to do things. We can't par stop Parkinson's disease yet, but we can slow it down. Well, I haven't got any more time and I'm dying for a cup of tea. Put the kettle on, dear, I'm coming in. Well, this is Old Geezer. I haven't got any more time. Talk to you next time. Old Geezer signing out.